friends. So tonight I'm going to be putting together a Harbor Freight shop crane that's rated for one ton. It's got great reviews and I'm looking forward to it. And you might ask yourself, what do you need a one ton shop crane for? Well, that. That is a pair of seven and a half horsepower um, Schrader air compressors that I picked up on eBay for $500 a piece. Unfortunately, Either LME Freight Lines or Averitt did mean things to this one, and there's oil leaking out of it. And they bent the um, crossover from the compressor outlet to the after cooler. So we'll see just what that means. Um, in the meanwhile, I don't have a forklift here, and I don't have a way to get them off the pallet. And I've got a bigger project in mind for them anyway. I'm going to build a duplex uh, pair of compressors because that's how they were originally configured. Anyway, that's another project for another day. Tonight, we're going to put together a one-ton shop crane so I can lift one of these monsters off here and put it on a furniture dolly. And then we'll find out if Harbor Freight's movers dolly really can handle what it says it can. It says it's rated for a thousand pounds and these are supposed to be 500 a piece. So anyway, let's let's get down to the fun part. What the heck's in this? Huh. BBs. Hmm. So um, like most Harbor Freight items, this one comes with a plastic wrapped instruction manual. And um, it's got some nice cast iron wheels. I really wish they'd sell these in stores because, you know, if it can handle, a th you know, if it can handle a thousand pounds, um, these would be great wheels for projects. They don't look like they're lubricated, but, you know, they're steel wheels, but these are great wheels. Oh, I see what these are. Uh-oh. I think... All these little balls might be the bearings. I don't know. Hmm. I've never seen little balls like that. We have a hardware box, a bunch of bolts, and a couple more wheels. These are really nice cast iron wheels. And like everything else from China, they're individually wrapped in case you don't want them all at once. And this looks like the base frame. I have no idea what these little balls are, but they're everywhere. Hopefully they're recyclable. So first things first, let's see what the instructions say. The little ones go in the front here. So let's see if it identifies which parts. Large caster bolt 1B. All right, so they must be in here. I will give them credit. They are getting better about labeling things. These look like 13 millimeter bolts. I have a feeling that all the bolts are labeled 1B. One. So there's apparently a small conflict in the instructions, and um, there's a card that comes with these bolts. Caution! PLS assemble the front and rear swivel casters in the way as shown in the picture. The nut washer and spring washer must be placed inside the tube. Isn't that convenient? 
I suppose there's another way to do this, but I haven't figured out what that other way is. So now, while this is upside down, I'm going to try to put everything in place. Now I'm actually only going to try and do one bolt to hold this in, and then I'm going to flip it over and do the others. And these are not lock nuts, so let me get some Loctite. Because apparently it is too easy to do this upside down, and therefore Loctite or lock washers would cost too much. On the bright side, it doesn't take very much Loctite. Of course, there are providing lock washers, but I don't really trust lock washers. Um, they call them spring washers. And there ain't no way in hell that I'm going to be able to get my American fingers in there. So we'll just move to the other side. So there's not going to be anything easy about this. In fact, this is a pain in the ass to get your fingers into. I can kind of reach in here one piece of hardware at a time and sort of play ring toss. So one end of this is 13, the bolt and the nut is a 14. Okay, so I normally don't do close-up shots, but I'm going to try. Because I, I, I really love you guys, my fans and my viewers. So first things first, I'm going to put just a drop of Loctite in the bolts. Now if this is the first time you're joining me, I, uh, this table is eventually going to get painted. So I'm going to insert a bolt up in here and then one at a time and with them between my fingers like this, I'm going to slip the hardware in here. First the flat washer and then the lock washer and then the bolt. And then with the tips of my fingers, I can get it started. So here we go again. Flat washer goes first. Then the lock washer, because the lock washer locks against the nut. These are weird little nuts. They're actually kind of remind me of jam nuts. They're um, not very tall. This is really hard to do. And I, I don't have huge hands. I only have, you know, I wear a size large glove, which I would say is probably average for Americans. There we go. What we do is we'll go ahead and put one in here. And then to create the necessary access, you turn the wheel. Because if you don't turn the wheel, you can't get the, the ratchet in here. So with that in here, I can then just work my way through this. All right, 
right, so I'm going to switch back to autofocus and just see if it'll behave. I normally don't do autofocus unless I, there's a person in the shot because I don't haven't had fantastic luck with it. We'll see. So now what we're going to do is we're going to insert the first we're going to make sure these work and pull the right number amount of hardware. So we need four flat washers, four lock nuts or lock washers and four bolts. So we're going to test and make sure that these screw in here. Yep, they do. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to add some insurance and put a drop of Loctite or thread locker as it really should be called in each of these little bolt holes. Anytime you're working with inexpensive Chinese hardware, it's a good idea to go ahead and add some Loctite. And these should go together a bolt, a lock washer, and then a flat washer. And these are 13 millimeter bolts. These really are fantastic heavy duty casters that would be awesome in so many different projects where you have a heavy load that you need to be able to move. So let me uh, check the instructions for a minute and see what's next. bunch of scratches on that one. So I've got my two legs and then I've got a chain and a gantry and a pump. So it's pretty nice. So I'm going to put one of these together right. So that one's put together properly. I'm going to go ahead and put this in. Now I'm not putting in the second pin because I actually am not going to use it right away. I've got some other stuff that needs to be done this evening. <clears throat> so it appears There's shit in the middle of, of these. And I'm just going to drop these through and see if it'll hold. I doubt it will. So I'm going to see if I can do one of these while I'm sitting on it. I don't know how they expect one person to do this, but I think I figured out how. All right, that was much harder than I expected it to be. Now I am going to go ahead and insert these in here 
so that I can do something clever without getting hurt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt this up so I can get at the bottom of it without having to crawl around on my stomach. you got to be kidding me. So the top of this is a 21 millimeter. Oh, you know, it should still work. Mm, it's like seconds from breaking out an air ratchet. Yeah, I'm, I'm done doing this by hand. So this will make extraordinarily short work of this, but it will be a little bit loud. And this is a, a Harbor Freight impact wrench. It's like magic. Mm. Ah, a little bit awkward. Alright, so another bolt number nine assembly. Actually, I need three more of these. It's really actually quite awesome that these are marked. This is so not like Harbor Freight. So there are a couple of straps in here which act to reinforce. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all three bolts in before I, I tighten this. That way I know they line up. good workout and my air compressor may kick on it's a Harbor Freight 5 horsepower compressor it's a little bit loud By um, some force of miracle of nature, um, I, I, this is a 28 millimeter, but I happen to have a 29 millimeter socket, and I think it'll do it. So the boom is held on with this 29 millimeter, or this big thick bolt. And I don't think this requires a ton of torque. So I don't think it's critical that uh, this be on here. You know, and you could do this by hand. I happen to have carpal tunnel in both hands, so this is just a really tough. There we go. This is really tough to do by hand. So the tool just makes really short work out of it. And of course, you know, those aren't the same either. So I'll go ahead and take these back. And this one's a 20, these, these last two bolts, number 10 and 16 are um, a 24 millimeter. So you need a 24, a 21, and a 28 if you're gonna do this with sockets. And you also need a 13 socket and a 14 wrench. Alright, 
So there's one. Okay, so the shaft has to be turned, which isn't really that difficult. And then it looks like it needs to be extended. Although maybe not. This may go together in the down position. Still going to have to be extended a little bit. There's that. Okay. So I need to raise this to insert the boom and then I'll pin it with its pin. Now, because I'm planning to put this away, I'm going to I'm going to put it all the way back. And then I'm going to just go ahead and pin this. And then the uh, bolt for the chain is probably a 21. Yep. And I'm going to put Loctite on the nut like I have on everything else on here. Yeah, my only real issue is that uh, this top arm is just scratched all to hell. But, you know, it's a tool, not a museum piece, so I'm not that worried. The rest of my tools get plenty of abuse. There we go. So, uh, all in all, I'm pretty impressed. That's the assembly of this. And now what I'm going to do is go ahead and lower the boom and put it in storage mode so I can roll it out of my way for the moment. Oh, that's really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these pins out. And then these legs fold up. And I'm pretty sure 
that that's a second position to stop them from coming down. And uh, this is nice. So at this point, I now have turned this into a nice compact thing that can be pushed out of the way and uh, it's not going to fall over and smack me. So I, I'm really impressed with this. Um, hopefully I'll have a chance to um, do my test lifts on this uh, later tonight or tomorrow. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. And this is the Harbor Freight one ton folding shop crane. It was on sale this week for um, 129 about $40 off its normal price. So uh, thanks for watching. Have a great night.